Right now at 6, history made once again on the Space Coast. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. America has launch. This afternoon, SpaceX and NASA successfully launched two astronauts on top of a Falcon 9 rocket, ending the U.S.'s nearly 10-year-long pause of transporting humans into space from American soil. And those two NASA astronauts are heading to the International Space Station as we speak. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christian Brewing. I'm Vanessa Eccles. Christian and I, along with a team of reporters stationed all along the Space Coast, watch today's historic event unfold live. We'll give you a look at their vantage points to the launch in a minute. Jeff Lefkowitz watched today from Parish Park in Titusville, which is a popular spot to watch the launch. But first, we begin with Channel 9's Melanie Holt. She has been following the lead up to the launch for years. Mel? And a new era of commercial space flight has begun. NASA astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are on their way to the International Space Station. They should arrive tomorrow morning. And Sunday afternoon, they'll be welcomed aboard the space station by the crew. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom down. This has been a long time coming. Um, it's been nine years since we've launched American astronauts on American rockets from American soil, and now it's done. At 3.22 p.m. this afternoon, astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon on a demonstration mission to the International Space Station. It was the first crewed flight to launch from U.S. soil in nearly 10 years. I was praying. I'm not going to lie to you. I was praying. I was praying for Bob and Doug. I was praying for their families. I was praying for their safe return, even though they're just going. Um, but man, I'll tell you, it was, uh, I've heard that rumble before, but it's a whole different feeling when you've got your own team on that rocket and uh, and they are our team they are america's team minutes after launch spacex also managed to land a falcon 9 first stage booster aboard its drone ship of course i still love you and now bankin and hurley are on their way to the space station teams will pay close attention to make sure the crew dragon is operating as intended you learn on every flight but they're hoping to learn more on this one than they do in the next ones the Demo-2 mission is the final major step before NASA's commercial crew program certifies the Crew Dragon for operational missions to the station. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein also hopes the flight test is a source of inspiration. I hope this moment in time is an opportunity for everybody to reflect on humanity and what we can do when we work together, when we, when we strive, and when we achieve. The length of time Bankin and Hurley will spend on the station is still undetermined, but when they're finished, they will undock from the station and splash down off the Florida coast. We're live here at the Kennedy Space Center. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And there were many great viewing points along Brevard County for the launch. One of them was in Titusville. Channel 9's Jeff Left Coolidge joins us live now from Parish Park, where there were a lot of excited and relieved space fans. Jeff? And Christian, for a lot of those people that came out to Parish Park, this was the second time this week they came out to see a launch. A lot of them came from all over the country to have a front row seat to history, and they got one heck of a show that they will always remember. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9. Loud cheers from the crowd that spent all day at Parrish Park as a SpaceX Crew Dragon lifted off atop a Falcon 9 and hurled itself towards the heavens. This was a huge step for mankind. Uh, I got butterflies in my stomach. Yo, it's just super exhilarating. Each time the rocket popped out from behind a cloud, the cheers got louder, along with chants that America is back. USA! USA! Patriotic spirit. It's like, you know, we're not relying on the Russians anymore. We're, we are back in the game. It's amazing. It's it's just history being made here. So it's about humankind. It's about uh, progressing. So it's amazing. It's a feeling that we'll never forget. Thousands came from hundreds of miles away to witness history and see two astronauts rocket off to the International Space Station, a feat nine years in the making. I'm shaking, you know. 
crazy historical moment, and I'm, I'm so glad we made it out here. I'm so glad the rain didn't cancel it. I was worried about that. The history of this moment, not lost, on the smallest observers. It looked cool, and it was my first time, like, ever seeing it, like, up close. It's a historic event. Yeah. Something you always remember? Yeah. And it's something I'll definitely always remember as well. And it's something that will be the topic of conversation on the car ride home as all those spectators brave the traffic to get out of here. Reporting live from Titusville, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And hundreds packed around another popular Titusville park for viewing launches. Channel 9's Megan Cruz shows us, shows us how people there were thrilled near Space View Park. You can see there's still a few people hanging around, still talking about the first man launch in almost a decade that they got to see in person. Now, for some, this was their very first launch. Now they're saying it definitely won't be their last now that they've seen the beauty, power, and genius that is launching people into space. <laughs> Cheers erupted from the crowd as soon as people saw smoke on launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Then, as Falcon 9 lifted off, <laughs> hundreds of necks craned up into the Florida sky to see American astronauts blasting to space from American soil. Some even wading out into the water to get a better view. Phones held as steady as possible to capture Crew Dragon's graceful ride into history. Spectators now looking forward to the future. We're excited to be able to tell that to future generations and say we got to see SpaceX launch its very first ship. I mean, I just I feel elated that you know the the, the U.S. is back in the space game and we're sending astronauts up to the space station. And eventually, the the most exciting thing is they're going to be going to Mars. And believe it or not, the guy you just saw is from St. Petersburg. He was here on Wednesday with his entire family. They decided not to come with him today. What a bummer. But I bet you they will all be back for whenever there is the next manned launch. In Titusville, Megan Cruz, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Another hot spot to watch the Falcon 9 blast off was just south of there in Cocoa Beach. Channel 9's Jeff Deal was there as people pack the beach for today's launch. An absolutely incredible experience out here. When this rocket lifted off, we saw kids jumping up and down, pointing to the sky. The crowds have thinned out a little bit now. You can see some folks leaving out here, but this place was really packed in here. A lot of people showed up out here for this launch, a lot more people than we saw out here on Wednesday. People were lined up all along the beach. We saw people on the Cocoa Beach Pier taking it all in. We even saw people on balconies and rooftops of beachside buildings. Once the rocket lifted off, we saw people with their eyes to the sky binoculars, bunches of people with cell phones pointed along the coastline looking to capture the moment. And then the rocket actually emerged, popping up from the top of some buildings out here. From here, it looked like just an orange glowing fireball going through the sky. People were excited to see it. They were cheering. They were clapping and said it was awesome to be part of this history making launch. We thought that it wasn't going to go, but I mean, there was a little storm before, but it passed, and then it was beautiful, and it was awesome. Came up it's historic, Lauderdale. yeah, and we came up from Fort Lauderdale. So I've seen multiple shuttle launches before, but this one was pretty cool. Yeah. God bless those people that that are going into space. Yeah. Well, go ahead. And that, that was the greatest thing that I ever saw in my life. And that little girl from Winter Garden made our day. What a great thing to say. We had people coming up to us from all over the place with similar reactions. We spoke with a family that drove all the way here from Chicago just to see that. They said it was worth every hour of the drive. Just an overall cool experience to be a part of. Reporting from Cocoa Beach, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Greatest thing she's seen in her life. Love that. A group of people also watched the launch today from Patrick Air Force Base. Channel 9's Alexa Lorenzo was also there where the view was picture perfect. From the moment I got this assignment, I was boasting to my friends and family that I was going to be just five miles away from the launch pad. And boy, was I right to be excited because that launch pad gave us a wonderful view of the launch. It was absolutely incredible. And you heard how NASA administrators were saying that astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin were laser focused minutes before launch as they were watching the diagrams and controls. Well, the people out here were also laser focused, but on some different controls. 
We had dozens, hundreds of photographers and journalists locked in on their cameras, laser focused, making sure they got that perfect shot. And so many of them did. They're already up on social media and all the pictures, even this one, our photographer John Galed took is absolutely mesmerizing. Let me tell you, it's a much better day at the 45th Space Wing today than it was Wednesday. The weather squadron here was the team that had to make that crucial call, but frankly, disappointing call to scrub the launch on Wednesday. But today they cheered when they were able to give NASA and SpaceX officials the green light that go for launch, and it was something no one here will ever forget. In Brevard County, I'm Alexa Lorenzo. Back to you guys. And it wasn't just citizens watching today's launch from the Space Coast. Both President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence were watching along with everyone else. Yeah, two national leaders were standing side by side as the Falcon 9 rocket launched the two NASA astronauts into space from U.S. soil. And just about an hour ago, the president and vice president spoke about today's great accomplishment. This is the first big space message in 50 years. Think of that. And it is an honor to be delivering it. Today, as we gather in this special place to celebrate not only the launch of a new spacecraft, but also our nation's bold and triumphant return to the stars, it's a special day. We will continue our coverage of the SpaceX and NASA mission to the International Space Station all day long. Our coverage continues on our website, WFTV.com, and tonight at 10 and 11.